Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome to a cooking video. Today I'm going to be cooking my dad the first meal that I've ever cooked him in my life. I'm 31 years old, my dad's on the camera, say hi dad. Hi dad. There we go, and uh, I'm going to be cooking him a meal. And today I'm going to be doing a gusto meal. And what is gusto? Well, it's a thing here in the UK that you can get. And essentially you go onto the website, you pick some recipes and some uh, meals, and then they send you a box. It's got all, I'm sure you've seen it in your country. Um, or maybe you haven't, but you get all of the different ingredients in a box and you literally make a meal from scratch all the way to being finished. And honestly, it's fantastic. I never actually learned how to cook. Uh, I've got absolutely no idea. So uh, this has been really great. And there is also a link in the description. If you do use that link, you get 50% off your first two boxes and uh, we get 15 pounds for each person that does that. So essentially I'm hoping that some of you will think this is a great idea. Uh, maybe go and learn to cook, maybe just show off and cook for a friend, a girlfriend, and also provide us with some free food for ages. So, uh, link is in the description if you like the look of it. So, we're today making creamy chicken makani and buttered naan, which sounds great. So, we've got all of our ingredients here, and uh, we're going to get cracking with it. So, first off, we're going to chop up the chicken. Okay, so now that we've got the chicken, we are going to make the marinade. So, we're going to add the chicken to a bowl, get that plonked into there. And we're going to be adding natural yogurt, cayenne pepper, garam masala, vegetable oil, and salt. All right, sounds good to me. Let's get all of that in there. Now, the great thing about these recipes is that the portion sizes are absolutely fantastic. And you never really end up wasting anything because they only give you the perfect size portions and amounts of stuff that you need to make the meal. So there's basically no wasted food at all. So if you're one of those people that buys food, doesn't use it and wastes it, this is actually really, really good for just making sure you're not throwing out a whole bunch of food that you pay for. Okay, right, and then we're just gonna mix all of this up here and this is gonna make our marinated chicken. It smells good. It does smell good. I really do absolutely adore the curries that they do here. Like, they just... Never knew how to make a curry before, and now I know how to make a bunch of different types of curry. Okay, right, so we're gonna be charring this in the oven. We've got the oven really super hot. We're just gonna get this uh, so it's, I guess, burned on the edges a little bit, ready for later on when we're actually gonna add it to the curry. But this is absolutely covered in this marinade, so this should be bloody delicious. In six to eight minutes until it is charred. Right, glorious. There we go. All right, let's put this to the side. And what have we got for our next step? We have cashew nuts. So we need to take some cashew nuts and we're going to pop them in this bowl and we're going to cover them with boiled water, strangely enough, so that the cashews soften up a little bit. Um, and then down I need to get on with chopping up onions and stuff, my least favourite thing to do. Scratch your fingers. Yeah. Please. It's alright if I cut them then you get it on camera, right? Well I know, we have blood everywhere and you're off to the hospital then. Yeah. So do they give you the cucumber and everything and just... Yep, it all comes... So the whole lot, the onion exactly and the cucumber like this. and everything. Yep. That's genius. All done to the exact portion, use everything, never waste anything. Genius. And yeah, honestly, some of the tastiest meals ever. And funnily enough, I'm here. If you're wondering if I'm just doing this for the first time, these are all of our recipes that uh, from our previous meals. We've been doing this for about a year now. We have oh. an absolute ton of them. We've got one folder here that has got all of the super amazing keepers that we absolutely adore. And then there is the other one with the ones that aren't quite so amazing. But um, yeah, we've been doing this for a long time and really, it's just fantastic. I've also transitioned from being eating meat all the time into we actually have a couple of vegetarian meals a week. And um, I'm feeling good for it, really, which is nice. Get milks. Just blame me. Send me the bill. I will do. I will do. <laughs> right, pop that to the side. Okay, so we're nearly into the part where it's actually going to be interesting. Dice the cucumber, add it to a bowl, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This is our favourite thing. Love the chopping board. Bendy chopping board. Why is this not, why is this not just standard? It I need one. Standard. I need one. Yeah, 
it's good. Cool. Okay, so we've got that. So what are we making here? We're making peppery uh, cucumber salad. So a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. Easy peasy. I wonder what that noise is in the background. It's the monster. It's the dog. <laughs> Okay, what's it say with this? This is your peppery cucumber salad. Well, lovely. We'll put that to the side if I put that on the fridge. So that stays nice and cold. Okay, we are getting somewhere now. Drain the soaked cashews. Well, those have still got to go on for a few more minutes, but then we're going to be going food processor crazy here. So we're going to put cashews, chopped ginger, chopped garlic, and chopped onion to the food processor and blitz. All right, well, I can prepare that, I guess, now beforehand. You can edit shit out of this, can't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, let's take out our charred chicken. I mean, is it charred? I'm not gonna say it's looking charred, but you know, it's looking, it's looking, it's looking fairly cooked. Huh? It's looking a little bit cooked, so let's take that out. And now we need to make our curry pastes. So I'm gonna drain these uh, cashews. We're gonna use the food processor. Now, not all the recipes here come with the need for a food processor. It does say on each different recipe what you're gonna need if you need anything special, in case you don't have something like this. But, and now we see if we can do this without completely screwing it up. Bastard. Oh. Hey. Okay, right, well, we are nearly ready here to get this finished off. We have got our pan heated up here. We're gonna stick in some cloves and cook for a minute or two. Push those in there. And what are we doing now? Cook for one to two minutes, then we're gonna be adding the cashew paste, tomato paste, and then we're essentially into the home stretch where we're just going to uh, cook it up, get the sauce cooked, and then we want, oh shit, it's too hot, it's too hot. There we go, that should do. Um, then we're gonna move on. Right, we just watch oil, but you know what? I'm not a professional. I'm doing my best. That'll be okay. Uh, and then we're just gonna get it all done. Now, this does not come with any rice. We are gonna be having naans with this, which actually sounds lovely. I'm looking forward to it. I should have put some extra spicy in here, though, because I know that you can eat your spice. I can eat my spice. Sam is not so great with the spice, but she's pretty good. Uh, right, cashew paste and tomato paste. Let's just let's just get it done. Let's just get get eaten. I'm hungry. Let's go in here. Fill that stove. Like this. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, right. Professional chef, everyone. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Okay, right. And now we play the waiting game. Okay, right. We are ready to finish this off now. So we are adding the chicken to the pan with all of that marinade, hopefully. Uh, some water and a chicken stock cube, all provided. Got a couple of water, comes out the sink. And bam, bam, bam. And there we go. And essentially now we're just going to let this sort of reduce a bit heat up, cook the chicken through, and then we are essentially done. I'm gonna stick the naans in the oven for a little bit, in a minute, but that is gonna cook down, and my God, it smells delicious. Okay, well that's looking good, eight to 10 minutes, and then we're done. Beautiful, and we're gonna do the naans. Give us a smile. Okay, last step, naans going in for two minutes, just to warm them up, get them a little bit heated. We're gonna stick some butter on them, oh shit. Stick some butter on them, and then we are good to go. Curry has thickened down. Oh my God, this is looking insane. And we're pretty much there. Right, let's get the rolls. So how do we do this? Once hot, remove the naans from the oven and add a knob of butter to each. Serve the chicken with the naans and the peppery cucumber salad to the side. Enjoy. Okay. Hi, I'm excited for this. I'm actually really bloody hungry is what I am. Okay, we've not made too much of a mess, but here is going to be the real thing. Oh, I've actually got, got little ramekin thingies. Yes. Okay, let's go professional with it then. 
and try and do it just like they say. It's my least favorite part, honestly, is dishing stuff up equally. Mm -hmm. How good does that look? That looks absolutely fantastic. Didn't actually realize how hungry it was until I could smell it cooking and then it jumped up my nose. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And that is the sound of some happy little nose. Okay, All right, so what do I do with this? Oh. Oh, I don't really know. Just, just add a knob of butter to each, or just blob, blob a bit of butter on. Okay. If you say so. You can put more than a blob on mine. More than a blob on yours. Okay. Okay, and we have here. What, what is the curry? I don't think I'm familiar with this one. We have creamy chicken, makani, and buttered naan. And that is looking pretty good. Great. Well, I guess I guess we're done now, Father. Um, a naan each. Some cucumber stuff. Can we eat now? We can eat now, yes we can. <laughs> yes we can. So remember, if you think this looks good, I mean honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with this. If we look at the comparison, well, don't look at the comparison. This is a little bit more juicy than mine, but I'm still pretty convinced that I did a good job. And uh, if you feel like you want to take this on, they've got tons of recipes they change every single week. Loads of good stuff on there. Uh, vegetarian if you want it, vegan if you want it, meat if you want it. Um, and it's a good laugh. It's honestly quite fun and I feel like I'm learning stuff. Okay, so we are done eating and it was absolutely delicious. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please do leave a like and drop a subscription on the video. And if you want to try this out yourself, head down to the link in the description. Remember, you get 50% off your first two weeks of food. And also we get 15 pounds of credit on the website. So if you want to do that, you know, it would be a nice help out. And also you can make some nice food and uh, learn to cook a little bit. Um, until next time, Panda and Pandad. Panda out.